Well, we've made it. Wilderness Island 2021. I wasn't sure it was going to happen. I am so glad we're here. It's been a long couple of days in the car. Um, pretty lumpy boat ride to start with this morning. It was, um, it was a bit up and down, but as you get closer, it the easterly just backed off beautifully and came into view of these islands. And I mean, you can see behind me, all the water's draining out of the creeks, got the mangroves. It's just, it's paradise. So yeah, we just had some lunch and um, just gonna go back down and get the yaks loaded up and get them set up with all the gear and get the fishing rods and we probably won't be able to see it, but out here there's there's a big uh, section of reef which is out of the water at low tide, so that's that's draining out at the minute. So in another hour or two, that'll be completely dry and we'll be able to fish off that edge. So I'll probably take you guys out there with me and we'll get this adventure started. Welcome to Wilderness Island. Right, it's been a while. We've been dicking about getting kayaks rigged and rods rigged and moving stuff from one beach to another to a cabin. But it's finally time. It's about four o'clock. Tide is pretty low. Not much water, but it's opened up this little little section of reef to go and stand on. And we'll, I think the plan is I'm just going to stick some little 70 mil stick baits on and go twitch them over the edge of the drop off, and so hopefully just get get anything really. I'm hoping for maybe a queen or a trev, but hey, whatever comes along, we'll take. And um, yeah, so let's go let's go find something. All right. Work my way out to see somewhere to actually have enough water to cast in. First cast of the trip. Make sure the drags are all good. I'm gonna move this pretty quick because it's super shallow. Oh, first cast of the trip. <laughs> I don't know what that is, it's tiny, whatever it is. Oh my god. I've driven 15 hours, a couple by boat. So much money on gear, and the first thing I catch is a fucking butterfish. I'm running heavy light gear. It's a three to six kilo rod, 15 pound line. It is a 5,000 reel, but it's a compact and it's only bigger than the 4,000 for the spool capacity, which is handy land based. It's got like 300 meters of line on here if anything big does decide to. Um, Come and play. Oh, that hit the water and got hit. It got eaten. Oh, there's a little splash behind it. It's, oh, I just can't let it pause too long. Oh, there's another bite. Oh, look at the splashes behind the lure. Oh, there's got to be some. I wonder what they are. Oh, we've hooked something. It hasn't come out of the water. I'm hoping it's not a, a big, long, long tom. Come in a big circle. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a trevally of some sort. Oh, it's going all right. It's going very all right. Oh, look at that thing. A little jeet. Little GT. Oh, look at his mate come in. <laughs> These things fight so hard, especially when they've got no water to, stand, to, uh, to swim in. That's a good one for Wilderness Island. Oh, it might be a brassy actually. There we go, look at that in the sunlight. Beautiful. There he goes. He'll find his way. Well, let's do that again. He had mates out there. Big one cast. I'm glad that wasn't long. Looks like Brett's onto one as well. Well, we've hooked something again. It's only very small. Oh, that's cool. A little Spanish flag. These things are wicked little fish. Have a look at that guy in the sunlight. He spins around. It's supposed to be pretty good eating. Oh, there he goes. Just been massacred twice, two casts in a row as the lures hit the water. Big eruptions on the surface. Right about there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, what's that? Oh no, is that a long tom? Oh no, I really hope that's not a long tom. 
What is this? Oh, that's a long time. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. And that's a lure in my head. Oh, that's why you wear sunglasses. That's in my head. Oh dear. And lucky I'm wearing a hat as well. Oh, it's in the GoPro. You guys aren't really going to be able to see, but there's a treble through the camera strap. And that was a dirty, great big long tom. And uh, we don't like long tom here at Wilderness because they count as a point in the points tally for certain punishments, which we'll keep to ourselves. But um, yeah, I'm, I am glad that spat the hook, but <laughs> not into my head. Little tusk fish on, whoa, on the Fisher Swift. I'll let this guy go. It's only a small one. They get a lot bigger than this. Oh, <laughs> head butted me foot. Oh, it's so cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little, I don't know what kind of shark it is. Ooh. It's got a bunch of little bands down it, just hunting in here in the, as the high tide's slowly creeping in. Um, sun is nearly down. It's getting there. Fishing's fishing slowed down surprisingly. There's a fair bit of there's a fair bit of bait. Um, it's not really getting harassed yet. I think the tide needs to come up just a bit more. It's a little bit shallow, shallow in these zones at the moment. No, it's been good fun. I think I think it's time to call it for the night and um, and head back. That was a pretty fun first session on the island. Catching giant herring. I don't know if I got it on the film, the giant herring ate it right at my feet. I literally ran the handle twice and it was, I had the leader in my hand. It wasn't really any, any sort of competition or fight, but it was cool to tick that off one, that one off the list pretty, pretty much straight away. Tusky, little GTs. The other boys had some good fun, so yeah, I reckon we'll head back for a beer and uh, spin a few yarns and get out tomorrow on the kayaks and really hit it hard and, um, and just see what wilderness really has to offer. It's a, a magic place, so. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. So the sun's just gone down and there's a bunch of fish, like really small fish just kicking around. You can see the bow waves in like literally ankle deep water. I've just been casting around a tiny little stick bait. I banged a heap of their only little grunter and I've just pagged a, a nice whiting. So I'll just show you. It's just, you cast a lure in there and they just come from everywhere. I'll put this on my head. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I can see. Let me put a cast out into that section there. It's only angle deep. Oh, see that splash? Look at them all. Boom, boom, boom. Just pause it. And I made it. <laughs> well, shot it back at me. I lost one of my trebles. A fish bit it off, but I got one on the back. And there's still... Oh, what's that tailing out there? Boom, boom. Skip it in. <laughs> Oh, they're only little fish, but it's so much fun. <laughs> Another one. One more. I think one more, and then we'll go have dinner. Don't even have any hooks left on it. There they go. <laughs> it. No, I was thinking, look, I'll see if it happens again. Like, you just put it right there and just wait, and then the bow waves just come from everywhere. Boom, boom, there they are. And you stop it and then get them. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done. I'm going to head back. Time for dinner, I think. Must be getting close to seven o'clock. <laughs>